Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at your spirit guide's message on something that you are currently worried about. And to do this reading we will be pulling out three cards together. If you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, you'll find a timestamp to that down in the description box which will take you straight to uh, the part of the introduction where we shuffle your zodiac signs and find out in which pile they'll fall under. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your intuition, there are two ways in which you can do that. Through the cards that we will be revealing in a moment or the crystals that we will be placing on top of each card. All right, so for pile number one, you have enthusiasm. For pile number two, you have control. And for pile number three, you have intuition. If you prefer to pick your piles using crystals as mentioned, then let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the onyx, and this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, you have the garnet, and this is what your crystal looks like. As for pile number three, you have the selenite, and this is what your crystal looks like. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to, and this or these will be the piles for you here today. Feel free to choose more than one pile in case you feel drawn to them. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and I will see you as mentioned in your readings. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this specific part of the introduction was created just for you. And what I do is, I shuffle your zodiac signs really well. And once we're ready, I'll be drawing out four zodiac signs for each pile. Okay, I think we've shuffled enough for today's reading. Let's draw out the first four uh, signs for pile number one. One, two, three, four. So the signs for pile number one are Pisces. Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, for pile number two. Did I grab four? One, two, three, and four. There. So the signs are Libra. Virgo, Leo, and Scorpio. As for pile number three, the signs are Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Aries. So, my dear soul family, these are the signs and their association to each pile. Uh, please 
uh, feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, or rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. And also, if you prefer to pick your piles using another ch placement in your chart, please feel, feel free to do that as well. <laughs> and once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the onyx. And your card, let's go again, is the enthusiasm card. It's the sun in Sagittarius with enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, And if you picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Taurus. Welcome to your reading, guys. Remember, these are not the official zodiac signs of the pile some people prefer to pick their piles using their uh, zodiac signs and others prefer to pick them using their intuition so just remember it's another way for others to pick their piles okay so let's pull out your oracle cards first today we're taking a look at your spirit guides messages on something that you are worried about so let's see what this is and what your guides messages are Oh, I feel this one as well. Fine. I feel like the three are meant to come out. <laughs> so let's take them out. And let's check out your cards. So you have unfinished. You have the 24th moon mansion with mask. This moon mansion is ruled by... Uh, Mercury and Uranus between Capricorn and Aquarius. Oh, we do have Capricorn and Aquarius uh, in today's reading. Remember when I used to tell you guys the zodiac signs, if they're not yours, they're just presenting the energy of the reading. That's what I mean here. Okay, so you've got the 24th moon mansion with mask. You have the 12th moon mansion with the fall. It is a moon mansion that is ruled by Mars and Mercury between Leo and Virgo. Hmm. It's like you're on the cusp of something. Because we see like the cusp here and the cusp there. Feels like you are on the cusp of something. In fact, with unfinished, it looks like you're nearly done. Maybe you're about to finish or something. Let's see. You have Entitled Prince. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm starting to grasp an idea, but I'm going to wait. And you have the 13th Moon Mansion, uh, which is ruled by Mercury and Sa Sagittarius in Virgo. Hmm. You did have Mercury in the three cards. So perhaps this, this synchronicity specifically is pointing towards some form of communication, maybe. Okay. And you have seasons. Mm. Let's get more information. So what is your spirit guide's message on something that you are worried about. What is their message to you about that thing you are worried about? Okay, let's go one more time. Oh, I feel this one. Right. What is their message to you about this thing that you are worried about? So you have the Knight of Cups. I mean, these two energies are kind of similar 
with the unicorn in Alice in Wonderland, who's a bit of a bully, and you have Entitled Prince. Let's see. You have the Three of Cups, a community perhaps that is fighting over power because we see the Red Queen and the White Queen and Alice, who's just been upgraded to be a queen. But it's like there's a power struggle and they're trying not to give it to her in this scene. So let's continue. You have the Two of Wands. Ah, the unicorn scene again with the line. You've got the strength card. The three of wands. Chess game. It's like a chess game. I wonder what's going on here in this pile. You have the queen of wands. And you've got the page of pentacles. Okay. Crazy, but I'm seeing the clouds on their hands as these crunchies, right? Uh, it reminds me of fashion. Maybe something is in or something. Let me put the picture together. I, it's just that I'm seeing so many ideas, but the prevalent one is someone is acting entitled, putting on a mask, hiding something. Uh, they feel this grandiose with this unicorn and the knight of knight of cups hmm some form of power struggle is going on here are you worried about somebody's actions and how they are dealing with you maybe do the scrunchies, maybe things being in in fashion, do they do they feel like they are the in person? Perhaps do they feel like they have the support of people? Also, altar is a very private space. It's a space of prayer or doing rituals. Maybe you are afraid of what this person is cooking or trying to do. Manipulate energy, like manipulate the situation. What do they have down there? Oh, looks like they've been eating and they didn't put the plates back in the kitchen. <laughs> so it's like you can see, yeah, entitled. Yeah, the, in, that entitled energy. Uh, being irresponsible. Uh, trying to manipulate things in their way uh, hiding a lot of facts and who they are and how they feel and what they're doing and it seems like it's creating a huge form of power struggle with you in fact with the chess game here in the three of wands it feels like in your reading that everyone is making a move that is very strategic But I do see with the two of wands here that Alice has passed on to the other side, which clearly shows like a peek into your future, regardless of what's going on now. A peek into your future is that you have crossed the other side. You've bypassed this situation. Your path is long and evergreen. And you've gained a lot of strength and power from this situation. And you will see that you might be in the middle but your guides are saying you're not the the person that the where the war is going on that there's something much bigger a bigger war than uh than there maybe fight with you and so i get this feeling that it's not a directed war with you although there is a power struggle for sure going on between you uh, with you but i feel like your guides are saying it's much bigger than that and that there is a far bigger struggle going on up top. It could be in your work situation. Not necessarily. 
But that power struggle, it doesn't have to be, of course. I'm just guessing at this point. It doesn't have to be a power struggle. But what I'm getting is, yes, of course, you're involved. Um, but you're not being pushed away because you're not important. It's just that there is a far bigger war going on that you are see seeing at the moment. You're not supposed to see now. You're going to see when it's due time. But do know that the story is not over yet. Um, and I see you crossing over the other side, leaving this behind with your path evergreen and you feeling powerful, getting the real power, uh, depending on what this struggle is. But I see you getting the optimum power here. And with the Page of Pentacles, it looks like you are going to be the abundant one. You see the rabbit here is not really in the scene. And he's the one who's amassing everything with the Page of Pentacles. So it could mean that unexpectedly, in another way or in another path, far from their eyes, you will be amassing or manifesting so much abundance. Whatever the abundance is in this situation. Because you can see with the seasons that maybe it's their season now and everything must take its course. And, you know, when seasons change, we don't necessarily like the weather, but they're all important uh, to the equilibrium of the earth and so we what I see is that we might not like this energy but it's very beneficial to your path although it may seem crazy and so your guides are saying let them raise their hands and receive what they do with this energy in this cycle is up to them and it's in their hands and it's their karma whether they choose to use it correctly or not but just like the cycles change there is a fall so this means the peak here that we're seeing about you moving into another path means remember when we realized that you're you are on the precipice of something so this whole situation actually is now on the precipice of changing and it looks like there's a fall for this bad energy or this person it's the beginning of their fall and so with the cycles changing it is your enthusiastic time in fact, the Three of Wands is embarking on a new journey. So I see that you are on the precipice too of getting into a new journey. So the energy is completely changing. And that's why you have the Page of Pentacles here, where we notice someone has amassed so much. So it looks like the seasons are changing. And soon, with, without uh, belief, you will be manifesting so much. Rabbit is a symbol of abundance, so you will be manifesting so much. Mm. And as the cycles are changing, it's going to now begin by finding equal power. Because in this scene, the unicorn was, to, to cut the story uh, short, the unicorn was kind of bullying Alice and Alice stood there strong, speaking back. And because of that, they started uh, re uh, realizing that they have equal power uh, and they recognize that they have equal power through this conversation. Um, in fact, I believe the unicorn says, well, now that you... Or now that we see each other, 
if you'll believe in me, I'll believe in you. So you can see for sure the idea of seasons changing, the cycles changing. And now is the time where you're seeing each other's power. Um, whoever this person is is going to see your power and is going to realize, ah, perhaps I thought that I had power. I was ignoring this person or like, um, what's the expression? Pushing them to the curb and not realizing their value. And that's why maybe whatever this is, if they took advantage of you or they were mean or whatever this is, that will now, you can see that there is, uh, with the Knight of Cups, a bit of admiration, sadly, <laughs> like in a weird way. There is admiration. And I'm saying sadly because that's not, you know, we should all respect each other, but there is here admiration. Uh, and there is, your power is about to be seen in this situation. Also, you will learn that the real struggle was never about you. It was with someone else, but you are seen now here. See the different facial expressions here. Someone's being put to the side here. Someone is definitely in the scene, standing strong, has a role. So I feel like your role's changing in this situation. I feel like you are being respected. Your, your power is seen. And I see you now a bit of like uh, with the two of wands, a bit of a vision because two of wands could be a vision, a bit of vision towards the future is that you are leaving the situation. You're out of it and your path is much wider and bigger and evergreen. And there seems to be a lot of abundance that none of you perhaps are seeing for you. Perhaps it's the universe's way of protecting what you can have because maybe if they knew about it, they could have taken it from you before you gained your power. And so your guides are saying, there's more to come. You're on the precipice of change and someone here is about to fall, seeing your power before they do. So if you feel like the situation is over with unfinished, it's far from over. And there is enthusiasm here. I see there is exciting news, perhaps because of all of the mercury. Maybe there will be more communication to come. You have the two of pentacles. Ah. The Six of Swords. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Interesting. And you have the Four of Swords. It, don't they seem very peaceful? I feel like your guides are saying, take it easy. Take it slowly. Yeah. For this is a short trip with life is but a dream. You know, we wake up from a dream. It's a short trip. It's not going to go on for long. So don't invest too much emotions into it. Don't grip so much into it because the two of pentacles is like, uh, yeah, it's uh, actually, if you think about it, it's not gripping onto something because a person's choosing between two things. So I'm getting the impression of not gripping onto something so much let it go. Stay tranquil and peaceful. Good news is coming with this situation. And there is a fall for someone who has been acting entitled or irresponsible. It's not finished yet. So take it slow, day by day. Most important thing that you find internal peace within this situation. Your power is shifting and changing. You'll be hearing more about the situation and you will be, your power will be recognized. 
but very soon you'll be out of it. With great strength, great power. And future abundance. Whether with the, with the chess game here you win or not, I don't know. But I do see that the, somebody's falling, at least. The, the person who was unfair here or entitled. There's a fall for this person. Like their chess pieces leaving the game. And perhaps your guides don't want you to, to grip and invest so much. Like keep it loose. Don't over um, indulge your emotions in it because soon you'll be on another journey. Far from this place. Like it's going to be another story. It's going to be another evergreen story. A new exciting adventure. One that is very abundant. I see you like life is giving so much to you that you're feeling very comfortable. So, my dear soul family, my dear pile number one, this was your reading. I truly hope um, you've enjoyed it and that it answered your question. I've read it as intuitively as possible without putting a specific scenario. I feel like this way you're e able to translate it to your own life best. And this was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And also, there are now memberships when you click on the join button below this video. I also left a link. Um, first thing in the description box to make it easy for you to find it. You become a part of the Soul Family memberships. And it's honestly a great way to support me if you do decide to do so. Uh, you will have a white feather badge next to your name whenever you comment down in the comment section or in the live streams there are also stickers coming up and for everyone who decided to support me i want to say thank you with every bit of my heart you have no idea how the support helps me thank you so much for everything for your kindness for believing in me and for wanting to support me it means more to me than you can imagine thank you so much wishing you the best in this situation guys <laughs> love you and i'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful garnet. Your card is Jupiter in Capricorn with control. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Libra, Virgo, Leo, and <coughs> Scorpio. If these are not your zodiac signs, remember it's just another way for other people to pick their piles. They are not the official signs of this pile. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so that's the most important disclaimer. Let's take a look at what your spirit guide's message is on something that you are currently worried about. Uh, to do that, this is the last oracle card that we'll be shuffling for your reading today. And I see these are your oracle cards. Okay. So let's check out what your message is. This one fell. Ah, and it's camouflage. Okay. You have mentor. Okay. You have comedian. Oh, let me adjust that. There we go. Interesting. I feel like putting the camouflage here, so I'm going to do that. I'm not sure what this is yet. You have all according to plan. Interesting. I'm picking up a strong idea with all according to plan, but again, I'm going to wait. You have the 17th moon mansion with sword. This moon mansion is ruled by Mercury and Pluto between Libra and Scorpio. Okay, you have the 27th moon mansion with guru, guru and mentor. I mean, the synchronicity is very strong at this point. So this moon mansion is ruled by Neptune and the moon in Pisces. Okay, finally, oh, we've got two. You have community. Hmm. 
Mm. And you have climate, which popped up in pile number one, the climate card. Okay, so let's pull out your tarot cards and ask, what is your spirit guide's message on something that you are worried about? What is your spirit guide's message? Whoa, on something that you are currently worried about. Okay, whoa. Should I go again? Ah, there we go. That feels better. <laughs> I felt like some cards were missing. Okay. So. You have the King of Swords with Embodiment of Swords. The Action of Swords. That's the Knight of Swords. For a second, I felt like these. there are two hands here shaking. Do you kind of see that? Like, yeah? Do you see that from afar? Like two arms and fingers, two hands shaking, right? Okay. And it's a, that's the mountain. So maybe they're making an agreement over a top tier deal or something. All right. We'll see. You have the Spirit of Pentacles. This is the Page of Pentacles. Court cards. Like, until now, all we've got are court cards. You have the Six of Cups. No, you can't see that. Okay. You have the Three of Wands. And you've got the Two of Pentacles. Very interesting. So what is your message? I'm seeing a an interesting message, actually. You won't believe it. I'm seeing your guides talking about being control of yourself is the most important thing through what's going on at the moment. And with guru, mentor, I just feel like what you're going through at the moment is trying to, I was going to say teach you something, but with guru, I feel like it's more like helping you evolve spiritually, that there is a far more important thing to your growth than the current situation at hand specifically. Six of Cups shows that, um, sometimes a card of past lives. You can even see fo photographs here of different locations. So I feel like what you're going through at the moment is finally helping you heal and release something. And I say release because you see the snakes, they have a grasp on the hand perhaps talking about the things that are out of your hands. Maybe these are your releasing karma. Mm. You're releasing karma and you are growing. And perhaps why there is an two hands agreeing. Could this mean that what's going on at the moment is something you agreed on with your guides because it will, it was like a top tier agreement that will help you reach the top in one action. And so your guides are saying, don't be afraid with the comedian. Take it lightly. Don't take it too seriously. Perhaps giving the impression that it's not really real. What's going on isn't real. Meaning what you are afraid of isn't actually going to happen. It's just prompting you to take 
action to break free. And I say that because I look at this page of pentacles and I see this cute rabbit who, when you look at, you feel like you could never harm this sweet creature. <laughs> so I feel like your guides are saying you're loved and taken care of. You're not going to be put in a scary situation or position. Mm, I feel like what you're going through is designed to evoke something within you, evoke some growth. And look at the two gurus here sitting, finding control. And so you see the teacher is very kind and is patting on the student's back and saying, you've got this focus and this student feels encouraged and is actually solving. Or, you know, maybe it's their father or a teacher that truly cares for them. That's the energy that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing the idea of take it lightly. You are going to uh, learn to be in control of your world. And that everything is working out in the way uh, um, it's designed to with cycle and community. And I say that because, you know, with community, we breathe out uh, CO2 that's what the plants need they bring out oxygen for us you know it's like a whole cycle of like all of us without knowing taking care of each other and benefiting each other so i feel i i have this strong feeling in your reading of things designed for you this way and it's ever changing and ever moving. And it's designed to your benefit. But not designed to hurt you. And what you feel is scaring you or trying to take control over you is on their own being controlled by something else. And so nothing is fully free to harm or nothing is fully free to do to ultimately take power and so power is an illusion and your guides are saying find your control because nothing is in control of you and you are in control of anything either and so if you feel like there's something going on in your life taking control of you all remember that first with all according to plan it's all designed while you're being taken care of and loved so it's not going to hurt you. And remember that nothing is, in fact, truly in control of you. Unless you give it control. And the way you're giving control to others is very interesting in this pile. I get this idea that you're, uh, that you're not giving control because you are weak. This pile is highly spiritual. Look at the hands shaking spiritually, the six of cups. The, the fact that your guides feel like you will understand all this. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I was surprised because I felt through this reading that you will be getting guidance on what to do in, in the moment or that um, what's going to happen. But I feel like it's really all up in the clouds and I get the sense that you're highly spiritual um, the way your guides are talking to you is very, very sophisticated. I love this. <laughs> and so I'll tell you what exactly made me feel like put what I just said together. Camouflage, you know, they take the colors of what they are moving on, right? So I feel, I felt in suddenly that your guides are saying, take the color of the world. Maybe don't be so up in the sky. So... Um, in your spiritual nature that you are not so engaged in the 3D. You're not uh, perhaps doing what is necessary. Maybe you believe too much without action, like you believe nothing's going to happen to you. In that case, then your guides are not saying, don't worry, they're just saying you are in control. I don't know exactly but what I do know about what I'm seeing towards you is that your guides are saying no one is in control of you. You are in, you are in control of your world through with the colors, perhaps perception and being grounded. 
You must color to the color of your world. Because even if you are so spiritual, you are on earth with the page of pentacles. You have to be on earth. And the earth is there to teach you and help you and make you grow. So while it's awesome to be that spiritually elevated, you uh, want to take the earth as an opportunity to grow. I paused because, well, it is a spiritual channel. So, <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, your guides are saying, look at what the world uh, is doing Play their game, but without losing yourself. Don't take it so seriously because it's a learning journey that you've agreed on. But at the same time, you also must balance, balance that with being grounded and playing the game. Because that will teach you something great pertaining to your spiritual evolution. Is anything going to harm you? No, nothing is going to harm you. Um, in fact, with the climate and the community, it's meant to benefit you in the weirdest way without you knowing. You know, it's like uh, the insects and the birds that help the trees spread in the forest. It's all... We're, it's all helping each other. And so what's going on now it's to your great benefit should you decide to use it in that way and i say use it because here it's a journey with the three of wands to go on that journey with the two of pentacles and the bats sometimes you win some win some sometimes you lose some but it's all to your gain at the end of the day you will be greatly taken care of I get this idea that it's all just um, a game or it's all just uh, an illusion. Take it lightly. Don't take it so seriously. I feel with the King of Swords that this is a grand opportunity to take action once and for all or maybe cut off energy that may have been repeating itself one lifetime after the other after the other and it's a grand opportunity what you are going through at the moment to cut it once and for all to heal it once and for all to end the cycle once and for all strategically so yeah a very unique opportunity to do that and that that's the agreement so you must be going through something very significant in your timeline and this event shall end this suffering in this lifetime and in the future forever so let's see what your guidance is you've got the nine of wands you nine of wands is like be confident be strong be courageous and there is a 50 50 chance here you might make it and cross the other side or not. As in ending it in this lifetime or not. With the same bird here, of course in another color, I'm looking at the guru and I'm saying, and I'm seeing, this will depend on your spiritual lessons, on your spiritual grasp of uh, how you... Uh, understand how to control your world and um, control as in not like mean control of your inner world to have control over the heart mind body not let it run you to learn through this lifetime that nothing is in control of you at all no matter how big and how dangerous the situation is. It almost feels like, in, uh, you know, it, like for example, a computer will be able to come up with endless stories to 
make you learn the same lesson. And so if it's not the bird, it's the AI robot. If it's not the AI robot, it's the lion in the jungle. I feel like at the end of the day, your guides are trying to teach you um, the most important lesson. And that perhaps is to not be afraid, maybe. Or oh, maybe it's not not be afraid. Is to not let anything take control of you. And also to not take it so seriously because it's, there's this impression that it's not real. The Hierophant. And the Eight of Pentacles. Tattoo, you know? Mastering with the Eight of Pentacles. Also, tattoo is like something that's permanent, right? <clears throat> so I feel like going through learning this will be tattooed to your soul. It's like the evolution of your soul that you are creating through your 3D in this world. See, with the camouflage, it's like what you're learning in this world will reflect back in your soul. That's why it is so important. And the 50-50 chance is not as in you may make it or you may not make it, which of course it means that, but I mean, it's, um, it's not out of your hand, again, with control. It really is about learning to not be, to not take it so that seriously, like do what you need to do, but within, don't be that invested. And also learn that nothing is ultimately in control of you. That is something that you will be learning through this lesson. So far, everything is according to plan. You're doing really well. Continue. Don't be sad when you miss some. It's okay. You're learning. You're in the process of learning. And very soon, you will be so happy as a soul of what you were able to achieve. Protecting with the dog here. Masterfully protecting yourself from this energy in any other lifetime. Maybe this is talking about a new evolution to how your soul experiences living or being. Mm. What you are going through is such a great lesson. It's what you agreed to come here to do. It will change everything because it's changing within. And as within... So without your whole reality on the outside will change because of that. And it's this situation is a lie. It's not in control of you. What is pretending to take control of you is on its own under control of something else. So don't take it seriously, but don't be up in the clouds either. Uh, play the game lightly, always remembering that there is nothing in control of you. That this is all some reflection of realities and that you are loved, dearly loved and will be dearly cherished as a soul and you will be taken care of. And my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see in your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, now there are memberships when you click on the join button below this video. I've also left a link to it first thing in the description box to make it easier for you to find. You become a part of the Soul Family memberships. Honestly, it's a great way to support me. Thank you so much for everyone who decided to support me. As I always say, you have no idea how much it is really helping me out. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. It means the world to me. <laughs> and my dear uh, soul family, this is your pile. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. This is, uh, I I'm saying this in the most, um, like, not bragging, but really this is a truly evolved pile. I wish you the best of luck in this breaking of pattern uh, in your reading. Remember, my dear pile number two, nothing is in control of you and nothing will ever be. Love you guys so much. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful selenite. 
your card is Mercury in Cancer with Intuition. And if you picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Aries. If these are not your zodiac signs because you picked your pile using your intuition, please don't worry about it. Remember, it's just another way for others to pick their pile. Uh, this, these are not the official uh, signs for this pile. Okay. Oh, this one slid out. So let's take that. And let's pull out the last oracle card and see what your spirit guide's message is on something that you are currently worried about. Okay, so let's check out your cards. Wow, you have lesson from the past. Hmm. Okay. You have crossing the threshold. You know, there was it instantly reminds me of pile number two's message. At least this part. I don't know how this pile is going to, what this pile is going to say. But if you feel drawn to pile number two without giving details, I highly recommend it with these two. Okay. So you have first quarter waxing air moon with adaptability. Hmm. And you have the last quarter waning air moon with challenge. How interesting. The waxing air moon and then the waning air moon. Adaptability and challenge. Okay. And you have roots. Wow. Okay. So... Let's shuffle your tarot deck and ask, what is your spirit guide's message on something that you are worried about? I'm seeing an idea, but I want to wait and see what, what you have in your uh, tarot cards. Mm. Okay. So what is your spirit guide's message on the thing that you are worried about? Finally, this one. Okay. Let's take a look at your cards. So you have the King of Swords. Even in pile number two, the first card they got was the King of Swords. You have the Nine of Swords. The Seven of Swords. The Three of Wands. The Moon card. With this robotic uh, scorpion and the Moon card. You know, I have a strong... Speaking of intuition, I have a strong feeling that you're worried about something with regards to AI. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ah, just guessing. <laughs> but maybe some of you with this uh, robotic. Um, or maybe you're worried about how AI may take over your job or the evolution of the world or something. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe this is just a metaphor to what you're worried about. So uh, too early, too early. You have the Knight of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. It's awesome seeing the Ten of Pentacles at the end of your reading. Really nice to see. You can even see a Cirrus holding cards. I feel like this is an intuitive message from your guides, like showing you the future. They're letting you know you're going to be very happy. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, you're really going to manifest. That's what the Ten of Pentacles is about. 
you and the next generation. Perhaps you're going to be doing something good for you and the generations to come. Maybe this is talking about how your role is important to the evolution of the world. <clears throat> you know, I'm getting so many ideas. I think the best thing to do at this point is to stop talking <laughs> and to see how the cards are connecting for you. Find out what you're worried about and what your guide's messages are. I feel like what you are going through at the moment is something relatively new. And perhaps why there's so much worry and anxiousness to what could happen. Imagining with the Seven of Swords, what type of thing it's going to take from your life? What's going to escape from your life? How is it going to hurt you? What is it going to mostly with the Seven of Swords take away from you? And because it, this challenge you're going through is relatively new, and I keep saying new, 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 because of what I explained with the AI here. I get the feeling like you are on the brink of something, like you are in maybe a new world or you're about, or that thing just entered into your life. Relatively new. You are very afraid of it. And there is at the moment your guides are showing too much imagination and over analyzing of <clears throat> how this thing is going to perhaps hurt you i feel like with the comet and the dinosaurs it's giving this uh, feeling that you in, you feel with intuition the, the mercury and cancer you feel like it's going to hurt you but I feel your guides are saying, don't be fooled on what is on the outside. Because it maybe your situation looks so small on the outside. Like you're helpless, you can't do anything. But really, if you look at the whole situation, there's so much more intricacy to it than meets the eye. And so you're not in a, as of a vulnerable position as you think you are at all. And it's, this challenge is not coming here to... Uh, this reminds me of extinction, like ruin something for you, take something completely from you, or do anything to hurt you. It is meant to help you cross to the other side. Is it going to be challenging? Yes with the mountains. But if you do the right things, it may not be as challenging as you are foreseeing at all. Given that there's so much to you and to your situation that you're not recognizing or seeing at the moment. Knowing fully well, as your guides are showing, that this is going to lead to your ultimate fulfillment. I, I keep wanting to say happiness, but it's the Ten of Pentacles. To your ultimate fulfillment. Should you first, with, the three of, with this Three of Wands, look at the situation precisely, like deeply, to embark on this new journey on this new thing while first being illum illuminated like maybe read more about it study it better you can see this person standing observing the ships observing how they're moving it's and it's not the only card you have with assessment by the way you have the seven of pentacles here again pausing to assess where they've, how far they've come, what's going right, what they love and marvel at, and what there is not going right. So you've got a lot of assessment cards here to pause and assess rather than 
closing off your ears, not listening, not wanting it to happen. You know, this really reminds me of denial when things change. And when a shock happens or when something happens new in our lives, the first tendency is, if we don't like it, is to first deny it. Like, no, 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 it's not happening. Like, no, 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 that's not going to happen to me. And that's why the book, Who Moved My Cheese, if you've read it, is so important. If you haven't, this is a small book that you will love, will change your perspective about everything. I'll, in fact, link it down in the description box right up with the decks. And long story short, it teaches you that the first people, the people who learn to adapt quickly to the challenges and move with it, like to accept, it, to not uh, stay in that prolonged phase of denial and lack of acceptance. The people who are wise to accept and quickly uh, uh, take their time to learn the new situation and yeah, accept it, learn it, start moving, understand that the world is ever evolving. We are the earth and we will always be ever evolving and it, it will always be ever evolving. Hence the AI, right? It's ever evolving. And it's about not denying this change and doing the best to make use out of it and do the do our best to make good out of the situation for us and for others so your guides are saying yes are there changes yes but look at that with the 10 of pentacles it is for your own wish fulfillments or it's for your own full fulfillment you know the tens and tarot are an excess of an energy it's getting more than you even desire and more than you uh, thought of fulfilling it's so much to go around for you and even generations to come and so this journey is not there to make you suffer if you use it wisely and ride the boat to so to speak from the beginning and this, the earlier and the better and the more, what's the word, swift, the more swiftly and gracefully you will go through these changes. In fact, Knight of Swords here, Knight of Swords is um, moving quickly and going after the right thing, regardless of anything. You know, the Knight of Swords is so focused so goal oriented so target oriented doesn't look ref left and right and sometimes it's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing so here in your reading it's showing to keep your eyes on what it is that you want or what it is that you want to achieve and to not take this challenge as something that's meant to beat you take something from you but to get on your feet and to start taking notes, to start strategizing, to start thinking about it wisely and how you can make use of this situation with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is strategic. So is it really coming to take something from you or is it there to help you achieve even more than what you want? It depends on how you are going to see it now and how you're going to start taking notes, how you're going to start studying and learning about it, because there's so much more than the surface level knowledge that you know, and so much more to you and to your situation that you know. And the more you learn and the more you know, the more you are at a great advantage. And so take this challenge as not something that is there to stress you, accept that there are changes, but be uh, on the front line of your life and your destiny by taking notes and observing and assessing and learning to become a student at this phase of your life, humbly learning how you can make benefit of this situation and adapt, adapt to 
what's uh, happening. The sooner you accept it the, the, and the sooner you start taking action, the sooner you get there and the least, and you go through the past of least resistance. Very interesting. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of your cards. You've got five. If we go four and one in the middle, yeah. So you have justice. Ah, okay. I instantly felt like, remember that no matter how chaotic it gets, ultimately there is an order to it. It's that chaotic, orderly chaos orderly chaos it looks chaotic but it's not it's orderly and it's there to bring things into order and into balance in your life despite it looking chaotic and that is the energy universal energy nothing is truly chaotic and so your guides are saying there's an order to it Wow, you have the wheel of fortune. <laughs> I get this strong idea over and over in your pile that although what is changing seems scary, it is ultimately to your benefit that it will bring you a lot of fortune, that you're going to be very fortunate in this situation. You're, it seems to me like you're not going to be one of those who suffer through a challenge like that um yeah perhaps because you are going to be one of those wise ones that use it to your benefit you have the 7 of cups imagination right the star wow wow and the queen of pentacles <laughs> Go, uh, guys, you are going to be very fortunate in this situation. Although it's looking very challenging and there is this heaviness perhaps towards adapting to it and letting go of some things and accepting that evolution. I think you're going to go back and retrospect, uh, retrospect and maybe even laugh at yourself at how you thought this was going to be a horrible change for you when in fact, look at your cards, it's going to be something that is beyond imagination. You know, seven of cards surrounded by the wheel of fortune and the star. This is like what the, 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 ima the huge imaginations, the huge wishes that only f feel like they could happen in dreams will become true for you. Um, and that's the justice and in the chaos. That's the or, uh, universal order. It looks chaotic, but it's meant to make you very happy, very fulfilled. The Queen of Pentacles is a queen that lives in the, the realm that she has created. The star, the star card, is having your biggest dreams achieved. Next to the Seven of Cups, wow. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune, it's like the wheels of fate are turning to your favor. And so don't view it as a challenge, but view it as something challenging you to reach your destination, to be very fortunate. Because with these cards, you're going to look back and think, wow, my cards were saying that things were changing to my favor, which is exactly what happened. They were trying to show me that this was to my favor. Um, yes, this is all happening to your favor. And just like I keep going referencing AI as our example, it's about learning, not being afraid to step into this unknown world or unknown challenge. Step into it boldly, be strategic, learn, adapt, and you're going to get out of this more than you can imagine. You're not going to be uh, under threat. You're not going to have things taken from you the way you think it's going to. It's going to be really awesome because there's so much in deeply rooted into your situation that you may not be seeing or maybe taking for advantage at the moment. But when you look deeper at things, you will realize that you have far more advantages. And perhaps one of these advantages with the moon card and the intuition 
is literally your intuition, your um, subconscious intelligence, your universal intelligence, you know, your soul's mind. You are, you come off in this reading as very intelligent, very connected, highly, gui highly guided. And I, it's so weird. I just heard in my mind right now, just you white. Henry Higgins, just you white. <laughs> this is like a movie that I haven't seen since I was a kid. So I don't know why. Maybe, uh, yeah, well, I think this is saying just you wait and see how far you're going to come. Because, you know, in that movie, uh, what was the name of the movie? Oh, I can't remember. But do you see how she evolved in that movie? It's such a beautiful movie. And so just you wait for your evolution, pile number three, just you wait. <laughs> and this is exactly what I see in your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. I loved your reading, my dear pile number three. So inspiring. Whatever is going on at the moment is meant to put you on your feet. Please do check out the book. You'll find it on Amazon, on your library, uh, uh, um, bookshop. It's called Who Moved My Cheese? You also find in the description box if you want an easy access to it. And my dear pile number three, this was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And also, there are now memberships when you click on the join bot button below this video. I also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easier for you to find it. You... Uh, become a part of the soul family memberships and it's really a great way to support me if you choose to do so for uh, those of you how, who have chosen to support me i want to say thank you you have no idea how much this helps love you guys so much thank you for believing in me and for supporting me it humbles me and i, I just send so much gratitude to you <laughs> thank you thank you for tuning in wishing you the best of luck in this situation and my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.